it's uh, 6 a.m. in the morning this is what it looks like in Cancun at 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, I thought today I'd take you on a little run with me as I come to the end of week two of my training for my 50k ultra marathon challenge that I've set myself I'm going to give you a bit of an update on how all the training and everything's gone so let's do a warm-up first and uh, get everything ready for the run So on November the 4th, I'm going to do a 50k ultra marathon challenge that I've set myself and I'm going to run 167 laps around this park. So you can just see the park here and I'll come around that corner along this little uh, piece here, the straight. And then I'll go all the way up here and then essentially around this whole park. So that's going to be my challenge and it's 167 laps is going to be 50 kilometers so that's what I'm going to be doing for my 50 kilometer ultra challenge hello good morning I'm Mark and if you haven't been here before I'm a 58 year old Kiwi living in Cancun Mexico and I'm training to try and become an age group champion at UTMB in France and uh, I started this channel to document my journey and uh, to share with anyone that's interested basically so so this is my second week back from injury I had a bad injury after I uh, I did a 750 kilometer run through the UK and uh, I'm just getting back into things again so I'm gonna take you on this run with me this morning and share some news on what's been going on this week okay so I've been taking it really slowly because I don't want to get injured again and more importantly I want to make sure my injury uh, uh, healed so that I can increase my running every week so this week I've been doing seven kilometer distance runs every day and one of the things that I've been focused on is getting my heart rate back down again because what I found in the first week of coming back to training again here in Cancun was my body wasn't used to the heat and humidity so I took it really easy in the first week running about four to five kilometers this week I've stepped it up to seven per run and I've started to get my heart rate under control so I do all of my training using the Maffetone method so low heart rate training and uh, that works really really well for me so that's what I stick to so yeah I've been I've dropped my heart rate 14 beats a minute in one week which is really good so it shows I'm getting fitter and getting used to the heat okay here's one of my friends who I see every morning when I'm out of my run he's got a uh, fruit store hola amigo Hello, yeah. buenos dias eh? yeah. hasta luego <laughs> love the I love the Mexican people they're really really great there's no shortage of people saying good morning when I'm out for a run now remember when you're carrying a camera and running and talking it is going to elevate your heart rate so one thing to be wary of if you're one of these people that love going along and documenting your running journey <laughs> it's a gorgeous morning this morning you might be able to see the sunrise coming up behind me absolutely beautiful near the neighborhood of where I live and uh, yeah 
there's plenty of bike paths and running tracks around Cancun this is just a small section that I take to get me to the, the track I run on not track as in running track but trail or path or whatever you want to call it here we go this is on the path I run on now so essentially it's about three kilometers down and back and then a kilometer at the end that I tag on to get my seven kilometers at the moment and uh, you can see it's pretty nice I've got a bit of shade when the Sun comes up I'm actually running on the a bicycle track here because not many people are using this one in the morning and uh, this track basically dissects the road on each side you can see the road there and on that side so yeah we'll keep going down here a bit further when I moved here to live 18 months ago I really I really didn't like the heat <laughs> but I've learned to embrace it and I love it now because it gives a lot of benefits to my training and those people that live in a hot climate will understand what I'm talking about but the combined humidity and heat here really makes it um, for me a great place to train for ultra distance runs and before I went to the UK I did about two and a half thousand miles of training here and by the time I got to the UK and I did that run in a cooler climate it was massively beneficial so I'm going to keep replicating that process and to give you some idea I've only done two kilometers and you can see I'm already sweating a lot so I've got the electrolytes here to uh, make sure I stay hydrated very important part of running for me staying hydrated yeah so it's six o'clock in the morning here at the moment it's it's around 86 degrees Fahrenheit or just over 30 degrees Celsius and humidity is up around 90 percent so that's the kind of climate we're dealing with So to finish off week two of my training this weekend, I'll do a, a longer run on Sunday. And that's going to be around about 10 or 11 kilometers for this week. And I'll just keep gradually building up as I go forward over the weeks. So again, the key here is patience as I rebuild my, my mileage and to protect myself to make sure I don't get injured again oh, I love I love running at this time of the day it's so beautiful I wonder if you like running in the morning or at night time big difference for a lot of people that uh, yeah so this 7k is taking me around about 38 to 40 minutes every day so that's the time of kind of time I'm out on my feet and for an ultra runner most people say that's not much but yeah when you're coming back from injury a little is a lot less is more in the beginning and we'll ramp that up to several hour runs as I get fitter again lovely running through here as you can see nice pathway Okay, here's my turnaround point for this run. This is a park here. They play football, NFL, all sorts of things here. A bit of baseball. And uh, the uh, path goes around the other side. So I will go around the other side and turn and head back. That's 3Ks done. Feeling nice and easy this morning. As I said, every day I 
I run at the moment I'm getting fitter and feeling better so it won't take me too long to get back to my fitness level amigo you see us here's another friend all good hasta luego <laughs> <laughs> Great people everywhere. Okay, turn we go and uh, we go back the other way. As I go through this series, I don't want to be giving coaching tips or anything like that. I'm not a coach and I don't want to be one. I just want to share my experience. There's a lot of YouTube running channels where you can get information. The funny thing about those though, and I'll watch a few of them these so-called expert people giving out advice and yet they get injured a lot they spend a lot of time on the sidelines and uh, they go through the same challenges as you and me with running so that's the law of nature when it comes to running you're only one step potentially away from your greatest run and you're one step away from being injured so that's how I look at it so yeah I'm just going to share my journey you take from it what you want you want to see it and uh, yeah we'll see if we can help each other get to our goals back in the park now beautiful look at this and uh, now I'm heading back so as you can see this run goes pretty quickly so before you know it <laughs> let's keep that tempo going I try to keep a high cadence around 175 foot strikes a minute saves energy but it's more efficient as well the great thing about running is before I got injured I was running between 20 to 25 kilometers per day so about 15 miles and the body doesn't forget that so muscle memory helps as well as the base and the foundation you put into your body so when it is time to come back from an injury like I am um, it's a little bit easier than really starting from ground zero so within a few weeks time you'll expect to see me really picking up the distance and duration of my runs as I get fitter but for now let's just enjoy this <coughs> empty path loving this run this morning and you can see the sun is coming up behind me it's going to be another beautiful hot day here in Cancun and uh, by the time it gets too brutal I'm going to be finished so that's all okay remember keep that hydration going in hot temperatures well all the time really doesn't matter whether it's hot or not just keep drinking Now, if you are interested in listening to a professional ultra marathon runner share his experience, I've got New Zealander Daniel Jones coming on my channel for an interview shortly. He's currently training in France for UTMB and Daniel was the winner of the Tarawera 100 in New Zealand and then he went on to place fifth at the Western States 100 this year fantastic feat by a Kiwi and Daniel's agreed to come on to my channel and have a chat about ultra marathon running so a lot to learn for all of us from that and uh, it's a pretty good reason to hit the subscribe button right and uh, support me out because hearing from people like that can give us a lot of tips that are useful for our running but also in our life in general because you typically find people at that elite level are very very disciplined and that can help in all sorts of areas of your life so 
Daniel Jones coming in on my channel to have a chat about ultra marathon running stay tuned for that one as I head back into the tree canopy okay into kilometer six now going well this morning hot of course but loving it now I had someone recently asked me if I'm on Strava the answer is no and I never will be I'm not that kind of person I like to just do my thing I don't need to share and get um, competitive competitive with others I'm uh, on my own journey just like this guy because yes and uh, whilst I respect people that want to be on Strava of course it's no different that if you want to do a vegan diet or a carnivore diet or whatever it's your choice and uh, I just choose not to be on Strava so <coughs> that's it here's my friend again hola amigo hola hola consistency is the key and that guy's there every single day no break so I hope he's achieving his goal because he's turning up and being counted every day okay so heading on the home stretch now really enjoyed this run thanks for coming along with me today and a long avenue I call this my finishing straight because by the time I go down to the end and back I'm done with my seven kilometers <clears throat> okay back down the avenue and then I'm done for my seven k's for the day here's my supermarket <laughs> we do our shopping some of it not all of it I love the supermarkets in Mexico they're fantastic it's pretty much like going into an American style supermarket for those of us who are from lands further afar it's a great experience we don't get that kind of variety back home now normally a lot of people would push hard in this last bit of their run I don't it's all about keeping the steady tempo going with my running the whole way so I always think in my head okay can I finish the last kilometer or two or five as steady as I did the first kilometer two or five that's really the test for me with running how well do you finish and not just because you can smell the finish line inside and get an adrenaline buzz but you've got authentic tempo that you've been knocking out that's a big thing I do so I told you that in November I'm going to do a 50 kilometer ultra challenge that I've created myself I'm going to run around the park 167 times well to finish today's runoff I'm going to take you around that course so you'll be able to see what I'm going to be running for 167 laps let's go and do that eh? okay here we go now my plan is I'm going to have water buckets set up along the side here so I can splash myself with water throughout the night I'm starting this run at midnight so it's going to be hot still and humid and this route that I'm running is basically like a running track just a little bit shorter and it's on the road so I come around this park come down to this end this will be my starting point here this pole and you come around a corner hello birds <laughs> Good morning, Buenos Aires. And along here. 
and then we go around the corner and we do it again down this straight Buenos dias! Como esta? Muy bien! Okay, here we go. Perfectly timed to finish my 7k this morning. And we'll go around this corner. And we're back to where we started. Buenos dias. There we go. That's it. So I'm going to do that 167 times on November the 4th this year and uh, see how fast I can run 50 kilometers in this terrifying heat <laughs> that I love. Okay, so. Just coming down to finish off my run this morning it's been great thank you for coming along it's been good having you here and uh when i finish down here i'll just give a quick summary of my week's training for week number two of my challenge when i finish my run i do a cool down session which consists of a few strides so maybe 50 meters time two or three times and then about a five to ten minute walk and uh, that concludes my session so I never just finish running and go inside uh, to stop or cool down so that's something else I do with my sessions the strides I find helps me when I run again tomorrow my legs have got that memory from finishing strong and uh, I can start off the run nice and strong tomorrow so that's why I do strides and the walking is just to bring the heart rate down and one of the things that I find over the years is that when you start to get fitter and fitter, your recovery process happens faster. So the sweating stops and you feel your breath back to 100% and, and all, of, all of those other sensory signs that you get after you've had a run, uh, they return to normal pretty quickly the fitter you get. So it's another indicator that I use to measure how my performance is going. So. Yeah, a couple more days and I'm finished week two of my sessions and really, really happy with progress. Patience is the key. It's really hard for somebody who's um, gone from a lot of distance running to doing not much at all at the moment. But you've got to think of the big picture in my case. Um, and if you're training for an ultra marathon, you're going to have niggles at some stage. So learning how to deal with those both mentally and physically is important. So I'm really happy with where I am coming up to the end of two weeks and yeah, in addition to the running I'm doing core exercises, I'm doing flexibility exercises, um, strengthening my calves a lot so I don't have any tendon issues and just going to keep doing what I'm doing so it's working so well so far. Uh, shoes wise today I've got the Asics Kiana on and my compression socks, talked about those before find these good shoes for this distance once I start going a little bit further I'm gonna use my Charlie's or my Asics Nova Blast but uh, that's what I'm using today so there we go hope you enjoyed my video today and uh, thanks for following along the journey I appreciate it <clears throat> if you've got any questions drop them to me in the comments and I'll get to those and uh, I'll see you again soon with another video right here on my channel so until then stay safe stay well and if you can, get out and go for a run because it could change your life. Okay, see you soon.